y'all. I have finished Fourth Wing. <laughs> this book, I love this book, is engraved in my brain. I have not been able to stop thinking about it when I go to sleep. This book is in my head. Can't even describe to you how much this book has etched itself into my soul. Where to start? I love our main characters. I love them both. Zayden Ryerson, Violet Sorengale, Violence. I'm literally gonna get a tattoo. That's how much I love this book. It has dragons, a magic system, war, combat, there's training, enemies to lovers. It has everything I could want and more. I did not expect the ending. I did not expect certain things to come out and reveal its truths to us. I just so shook at the end as well. I don't know when I'm going to be able to stop thinking about this book. It takes place in the War College in Navarre. I hope that's how you say it. Our main character, Violet Violence, she has to go through training to become a dragon rider. She was supposed to be a scribe. She's forced into the War College by her mom. Her mom is the general. All these obstacles she goes through, you could potentially die. So she's working through that. She's training. She is the underdog. She is small. She's not big and buff. Like she's not a warrior, but her mindset is what I love so much about Violet. Her mindset is strong. She is strong-willed. She is confident, understanding, empathetic. She does not give up easily. Is just a badass FMC. And she's not the best fighter, but it's her mind. She's brilliant. She's so smart. I just love the fact that she never gives up. You know, she's constantly training. She's finding ways to get through all these obstacles. I just love her. MMC Zayden. I have a new book boyfriend, y'all. He's replacing someone in my top five. I will be comparing every other MMC I read about to this man. Fictional men written by women. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca, thank you so much. I have an unhealthy obsession with Zayden Ryerson. Um... This man is perfect. He does something in here that's wrong, right? I don't even care. I mean, I really hope we get some groveling in Iron Flame, but really I'll be like, okay, <laughs> you're forgiven. Because this man is literally too perfect for his own good. The way his words of affirmation towards Violet, don't even get me started on how he speaks of Violet. He calls her brilliant fucking woman. He says, you are astonishing. You are miraculous. Like, yes, king, compliment my mind. I cannot even describe to you how perfect this man is. You have to read for yourself. Because I tabbed so many quotes in here. <laughs> you guys, it's an unhealthy obsession, and I don't know how long I'm going to be feeling like this. I was giggling and kicking my feet every time this man spoke, and... We got to partake in Zayden's head, his point of view in the end, and let me tell ya, that was ten times better. Can't wait to read Iron Flame, but I am nervous because I've heard something about a second lady. <laughs> I will freak out if Rebecca does that to me because this man is too perfect in fourth wing. I want to stay in my perfect fourth wing bubble. Is down bad for Violet. Um, I won't accept anything else. Okay, so I am a little scared to start Iron Flame because I don't want it to ruin this feeling that I have from Fourth Wing. I love this book. I'm obsessed with it. I keep thinking about it. I am sad it ended because it is perfect. This book, oh, if you have not read Fourth Wing, go read it. I was feeling all of the emotions. I was laughing, crying, swooning almost breaking my back, giggling, and kicking my feet. This book has everything, the magic system, dragons, war, combat, enemies to lovers. The freaking side characters are amazing. I love it. 
the enemies we find out about are very interesting. I can't wait to learn more about that. If you have not read this, I highly recommend. Go read it. I am obsessed. This is my favorite book so far. I have to replace a book in my top 10 for this one. Please tell me other people are, are as obsessed with this book as me because I feel like I have an unhealthy obsession. Someone make me feel better, please. Please go read it, y'all. Go read it.